Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, there is something that is going on across this country and Republican Party primaries, which I'm not going to get all worked up and serious about it. I'm going to take a little lighthearted approach to this. But it is everyone jockeying and vying for Trump's endorsement for their race. Yours truly, even. And I want all of you all to know that if you are a big Republican a Kentucky voter, that I will put my Trump credentials up against anybody. And I'm going to do that in a second. But first, I want to point out some things that J.D. Vance said about Trump. Now, this shows, in my opinion, a complete lack of judgment. So, J.D. Vance has proven his complete lack of judgment. Let's compare his judgment with mine on Trump. He actually said the following things about Trump. I'm never a Trump guy. I never liked him. My God, what an idiot. Noxious, reprehensible. So while you and I are out there busting our fannies to elect Trump, this guy was saying these things about it. Now, he comes out now as, oh, I, I was wrong, I was wrong. Well, guess what? You showed your lack of judgment. Now, here are my Trump credentials. First off, I read all his books. I was a Trump fan from the beginning because his books, The Art of the Comeback is my favorite. Art of the deal, art of the comeback. But I read, I've read all of his books. So I've always kind of been a Trump fan. In addition to that, I liked his show. I thought it was funny. Now, I also want you all to know that I'm not Trumpian in this way. I'm not down with all of his worrying about how much money somebody has. And I'm not into the gold-plated apartments and the gold toilets. And I'm not into his obsession with money. I'm a much more down-to-earth candidate than Trump is. But here's what I want everyone to know. In 2016, I was for him when he came down the escalator, supported him from day one, and defended him against people like Willie, Joe Dieters, and others every single day. I was his Northern Kentucky chairman in the primary. I met him at his Louisville primary rally, the only event, the only time he came to Kentucky in the primary. And you talked to John London about this. I became his de facto spokesperson through the general election in 2016 in Northern Kentucky and Cincinnati. Why? Because no one in Cincinnati would speak up for Trump but me. John Lennon would contact me all the time and say, hey, will you, will you speak out for time? I said, sure. I went on Willie's show, Willie's Sunday night show. I was the, nobody gave me the job. I just accepted the job of being the Trump spokesperson in Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. I mean, I was willing to speak out for him. I did it on my own. The campaign never told me to stop. That was being a Marine. I supported him in 2020. By the way, my enemies try to bring up the picture that I took of myself with Hillary and my daughter. That was when Hillary ran in the primary against Obama and lost. And as I've said over and over again, I'm a good dad. My daughter Erica wanted to meet Hillary Clinton. So I had to write a check for $1,000 to go to Nathan Smith's house in Northern Kentucky. And I like Nathan Smith. He's a good guy. And I... And I went to it and got my, and it's funny. It's, whole, it's in the lobby. Come on, I got a picture with Hillary. It's funny. I never supported Hillary against Trump. That was way back during the other primary. I can't stand Hillary. Who's trashed Hillary more than me? No one. Okay, so then I bring in Kim Guilfoyle for the Freedom Fest. Donald Trump's future wife, Junior's future wife. I had Donald Jr. do a cameo. I attended the Trump PAC event, February 23rd, wrote a big check. Uh, Eric Trump Freedom Fest, 
is coming in 2022. I've hired Corey Lewandowski, his first campaign manager, as my senior advisor. On my daily show, I lead with the Trump stories. And remember, I'm the only guy that's going to be running for governor that's going to say, Mitch McConnell's got to go. The Capitol event was a much to do about nothing and their political prisoners. I'm the only candidate that's going to say those three things in these races. You think Trump's going to like those? I guarantee he's going to like those. He hates McConnell. And then last but not least, over the weekend, I got the endorsement of the Trump bikers. And they're coming in town on the farm May 15th to hold a big biker rally. The National Trump Bikers. So, (laughs) let's see what all those other candidates for governor, if they can stack up against this. And you know what? A billionaire coal operator writing a check in order to get an ambassadorship, that debt's paid. (laughs) That debt's paid. They bought an ambassadorship. So what? This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. I am the Trump candidate and the Republican primary that will be held in May of 2023.